Hi there, thank you for joining me. This is a totally unexpected shooting of a message because I'm supposed to be on a vacay, so I didn't bring uh, any of my stuff, but I got a message download that was a must share, so here I am. So, as I was gonna sit to read a book and um, do stuff to relax, I got this news flash and it said something like the waxing crescent is pointing to Jupiter and it's in the company of Pleiades. And I immediately in my spirit felt, well, that's significant, Father, talk to me about that. And so this download began. See, the company of Pleiades, the seven sisters, is interesting. It's a call to perfection and maturity, but it's actually something more because there are more than seven in the Pleiades, but your eyes have to be acclimated to the lighting of the heavens. So once you do, you will see more and more and more. Same with this message for the kings and queens. You're called to dig deeper because I'm going to just put the message together and you yourself can go deeper and find the treasures in it for you. So the Pleiades, Okay, it's often seen in the shoulder of the bull, Taurus, the constellation. And that will come into play, Taurus the bull, I mean, in the meaning of the celestials and declaring God's glory and what King Jesus is doing. That is going to come into full activation um, on April, in the middle of April, 12 days after the eclipse on 4-8. And even that's significant. After the open door into eternity, that eclipse being the second sign 12 days after that is when uh taurus the constellation and its messaging and significance comes into activation that means the government of heaven will be moving for those on the earth to those who are open and consecrated and waiting so the note for me that really like woke me up that this is a now 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 i have to share thing is that the pleiades is 444 light years away from here on planet earth 444 that is the frequency and the music of king david who worshiped and praised like a wild one so how i know that this is a confluence of many messages is because early early in the morning i received this prose and then it unfolded into many things, into Bible verses and ordering of my steps that confirm that this is something I had to share. So the prose of today is called completion again. Harmonizing, the wheels of my life moving round, 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 the corner now. Glory flow, fall to the power of beautiful Jesus. Truth calls for more. The more of him, more to him, the more to be given, more wholeness to be a blessing and love reciprocal as he deserves. All of my heart of thanksgiving redound for his glory. Sound the drums. The march is on, forward unto the coming day, when there shall be no wall of separation. I live from that place in no time at all, and yearn for him with all my being. I miss him so much every moment. Day by day I need him more. Moments with him are the joy always. Keeps me going round, round, round. Rolling upward because his love empowers. Impossibilities become marvels. Heaven thundering, sweeping away the clamor and the ignominious artifice of the minions. In you, by you, for you, evidence come forth. All you are, meditations on you, no end, all peace so powerful. There is no force in all creation that can hold a candle to you. You shine, outshine all without a thought, my victor, warrior. Battle superiority of air, land, sea, heavens, every realm, round, round, round. You encircle me with your presence. All there is is love, pure, original love. No room left for anything less. I do, I will, I am love. I love you, King Jesus. Okay, so after that, Wow, so many Bible verses just flowed, but I'm just gonna read you this download that I got after I'm like, Father, talk to me about the waxing crescent and it pointing to King Jupiter and Pleiades. And so I'm just gonna read, bear with me now, okay? I believe this is a message to the ones nearest and dearest to Father God's heart. Some call them the remnant. I will say his kings and queens because you will have to do more digging on your own. Remember, I'm on vacation. <laughs> this is for the select elect and what you are invited to do. The sliver, the kind of my favorite moon, waxing crescent moon is pointedly saying, set sights sharply on King Jesus represented by King Planet Jupiter. When completion cycle have come again like it is now, Father's love for his generations will not let you down. He keeps his promises. Harmonize, find deliverance and freedom because you are in company with those birthed once and together to celebrate the movement, retribution, and redemption of the king's blessing. 
The Pleiades are highlighting the burden-bearing shoulder of the bull Taurus and its strength. And the siblings of Pleiades reminds us on earth to praise like the warrior fierce king, like King David was, and to focus on bringing that ark home radically in all-out love, worship, and dance with all your being. The heavens say that the bull expression of King Jesus was reviewing much last fall and winter and have made decisions to move out and ready to charge in mid-April. This meantime is a call to stay focused. Do not be in discouraged. Oh, my soul, as King David would say, delight, praise him for what is coming. The king is getting ready to move and bring his answers, justice, his presence, right about the time Pleiades fades from our hemisphere's view. There's specific timing in all of God's creation. It's confirming and such a wonder. So on the 13th, the moon was closest to King Jupiter. The 14th, it moved the moon, moved into Pleiades. The 15th and 16th, the moon is going to be near part of the bull constellation Taurus, its fiery eye, which is represented by like an orangey star in the sky. And that is called Aldebaran, Aldebaran. <laughs> so it's talking about seeing the love and the fire in the eyes of King Jesus. I mean, that is so amazing to me. I mean, just imagine your king focused on you in love with eyes of fire coming for you and outright terrorizing your enemy that has tormented you your entire being. That to me is so exciting. Mm. So the movement of the moon is a message to God's own calling for the focus on the king's movements to prepare for what he is sharing, his secrets with the righteous. That's what this message is about. So keep on keeping on praise like the wild ones. Let the king of glory have open hearts, prepared minds, and lives ready as fired up vessels for him to return an outpouring of the spirit, which is right now. So let me recap. The moon, king planet Jupiter, Pleiades, Aldebaran, constellation of Taurus are all in play. Their position and proximity and movement all are saying something. So to synopsize, pay attention, bring your focus sharper, build up momentum is happening calling you to focus more pointedly on Jesus. The king is making ready. Are you? We should be. I mean, what could be better than his return and his answers in the meantime? The king will shoulder burdens if we cast them upon him. It's our choice. All of this is. Prophetic messages are always an invitation, not a complete decree. Please understand that. His sights and eyes of fire are on the select elect. Are you one of them? You can be. That's what all this messaging is happening to give you an opportunity. Can you focus on me? This is more important than all the distractions around you. Focus up, look up. Do you see and hear what's happening? All of this, the heavens declaring God's glory is because King Jesus is super passionate for us and Father God loves us with a never ending unfailing love. So he continues to open the door and come after us. So the 14th to the 16th, those are dates that are speaking. The 14th is talking about how God, Father God, is a promise keeper to generations without fail. He will not let us down. The 15th, we are asked to review new direction and receive being led by his rest so we can sustain this change. The 16th, so his love can do um, the most, the best. So let his perfect love mature and perfect us and let him have his way. Let me check the time. Okay, I have time. So this buttons it all up because I started the day by releasing Psalm 91, uh, verse 14 to 16, because it's March 14th, and the 16th is when this Pleiades movement um, comes to an end in, in talking about the fiery eyes. So I have a minute before it reaches 10 minutes, so I'm going to read Psalm 91, 14 to 16. Decree this over yourself. It's vital right now. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. There are promises we can bring down from the heavens to us. So open your eyes, open your hearts, be ready. Dig deeper than I have been able to hear. But this will be a witness for what's coming. I'm Jane Justice Park. Thank you for listening and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.